Hello guys, and this is my first YouTube video, and instead of doing the standard, you know, welcome to my channel video, I decided to do a tutorial on something that I haven't really seen much of on YouTube. There's maybe one or two tutorials, but nothing explaining it on Logic Pro X. So you're probably watching this video if you've been recording a few songs at home with your electric guitar, and then when it comes to the bass line, you don't own a bass, so you don't know what to do. So you've probably tried one of two things, you've probably tried um, EQing out all the high end and boosting the low end on your standard electric guitar or you've tried MIDI bass guitar and neither of these two options are very efficient nor do they sound very good so today I'm going to be showing you how you can make your standard electric guitar sound like a real bass guitar okay so the first step is to load up a project that you want to record a bass line on this is my project let's see what it sounds like without a bass line You know, sounds pretty good, but it sounds a little bit thin, so we want to add that bass line. Okay, so the first step is to record your bass line. What you want to do is you want to pick up a guitar and you want to record the bass line how you would a normal bass line. So this is my bass line. As you can see, I've already recorded it, and here's what it sounds like. As you can tell, you know, sounds like a boring DI guitar. You know, doesn't sound like a bass guitar at all. So here's the first step. We're going to load up this plugin. You want to go into the new plugin, audio units, Apple, then new, then AU, new pitch. This is the new version of the pitch shift in Logic Pro X. So I'd highly advise upgrading to the newest version of Logic Pro X. The old pitch shift, it works okay, but it's not as stable and it's not as powerful, so I'd highly recommend upgrading. So this is the plugin. As you can see here, we've got the pitch scale and it's measured in cents. Now it's important to know that 100 cents equals one semitone. So we want to pitch down an octave, so we're going to pitch down minus 1200. And that's minus 1200 cents. If you're using another door, it might be measured in semitones. If that's the case, pitch down 12 semitones. Let's see what it sounds like now. Okay, so it's sounding pretty good, but we can make it sound even better. So for this next step, we're going to load up this plugin. This is a free plugin by TSE. It's called the BOD version 2. This is basically like a sans amp replica. I'll leave a link in the description to this, but if you don't want to download it, you can just use Logic Pro X standards, you know, bass amps. Um, however, I really like this plugin, so this is what I'm going to use for this demonstration. As you can see, I've tweaked the settings around quite a bit, but you can do that after you've recorded, get the best tone for you. I've got quite a hard rock driven bass here, since it's a hard rock driven song. And let's see what it sounds like now. As you can tell, it sounds really realistic now. So let's see what it sounds like in the full mix. So that's pretty much it. You can do some other things like add a compressor and some EQ and make it sound even better, but that really depends on the style you're going for. Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if you found it helpful. Um, let me know if you didn't find it helpful. And if you want to see more, please subscribe.